What up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna do a two-parter here. So the first part of it, I went down to a local business here called The Gaming Zone. They're local here in Arizona. They're fantastic. What these guys do is they have a store here that's dedicated to tournaments, um, Street Fighter, Smash Brothers, uh, you name it. It's it's quite awesome, actually, what they do there. Um, and then the whole front of the lobby, they have basically a video game store where they have new and used games. They have a whole bunch of arcades, collectibles, merch, snacks. It's just, you know, this is a, a really, really cool place and definitely awesome uh, to support local businesses like this. Um, I know these guys personally, they're fantastic, they're very nice, very friendly, uh, and they have a lot to offer. So of course, if you guys are local here in Arizona, be sure to head down there and check them out. It's called The Gaming Zone, 930 West Broadway Road uh, in Tempe, Arizona. They do have a Facebook, um, The Gaming Zone on Facebook, so make sure to like them, and you know, make sure to sign up and go down there and do some tournaments. It's uh, a ton of fun. So the, the second part of this video is they asked me to come down and do a live remote uh, of Game On Expo because these guys are actually going to be at our convention and they're going to be running tournaments, they're going to be running um, retro games, modern games, and it's going to be a ton of fun for our game room at Game On. So they had me come down and in between setting up for tournaments, different games they were switching out, we were going to do just a live quick little remote there. So. Um, I had it recorded and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that and just of course talk about and show the gaming zone I think it's a really cool place. These guys are super nice and friendly and I want everyone to go out and support them I think it's a, a fantastic place. So um, Again, thanks for watching and have a great one Alrighty, everything good? Alrighty stream. We're now changing to Street Fighter 4. We're about to start before we do that, we got a special guest over here. We got Jason Heine from Game On Expo. He's gonna give us a lot more details about it. So any questions that you guys have, if you guys do, please post them on the stream, and then we'll try to get to them. If not, he's just gonna share us all the details that we need to know. All right, so I Jason. appreciate you having me here, first of all. Yeah, My I'm, first I'm, time being here, and it's fantastic. I mean, not only do you run all these amazing tournaments, but you have an entire lobby just full. I mean, yeah, we'll talk about game on, but this place, guys, come on down here. The gaming zone, this is where it's at, man. Nice work. Thanks, thanks Seriously. for the kind words. Thank, <laughs> thank you. It mean, they mean a lot. All right, so let's get on to game on. All right. So one of the questions that I have about game on is what's game on? So game on is Arizona's premier gaming convention. And you know, there's a lot of conventions here in the Valley, but to have a, a, a video gaming convention, a true premier gaming convention, now it exists. And so this is something that I think the Valley's been wanting for a long time. It's something Arizona's been wanting for a long time. I agree. I mean, I mean, we're obviously here in a completely packed, standing room only tournament. I mean, this, this, is, this is where it's at. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing uh, a convention Everything related to video gaming, retro gaming, modern gaming, pop culture, uh, cosplay, tournaments, I mean, you name it. It's going to encompass everything that's related to gaming. So if you're a gamer, this is going to be the show that you're going to want to see, the premiere show. In that's, why, that's why I'm excited for it, because it's the first time that we're actually getting like this. You know, when you go to other conventions, you kind of like hope for to see like, you know, like video game stuff related. Totally. But this is mainly like focus this on is. video games, but there's still going to be some, some more stuff. And is it going to be the first year? So like we're all trying to support it because we all love the we're all the scene for gaming so th this is where it's gonna be at. I do have some questions. There are some rumors, right? What, oh, rumors. What okay. Else, what can you share? So anything that you can share. But I, I've been hearing rumors. By the way, we today let me just show the passes so okay, that they can yeah, see yeah, yeah. how good they look. Um, we have some passes for top three. Anyone that plays top three, they get a free Friday pass. Uh, remember, conventions August 28th till the 30th, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. You got it. Mm -hmm. Here's the pass. Looks like a Super Nintendo cartridge. So top three is getting them, all right? That's fantastic. And that's going to get you in on Friday for free. Friday, yes, yes. Yeah, so it's a three-day event, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and, you know, basically everything about it is just going to be... You know, like what you're saying earlier, you know, you go to some convention, you see like one little spot for video games, so you see maybe a little area for tournaments. You know, this is going to be an entire show completely revolving around video gaming tournaments. And hey, I mean, we're excited because you guys are going to be there. I mean, you're talking about support. We appreciate you coming out. These guys are going to be hosting tournaments there. They're going to be doing retro, modern. I mean, we're excited. Yeah, you are going to be yeah. in our game room. That's where it's at. I'm going to share a little bit that we... 
we haven't announced it, but we will be doing a 60-player Mario Kart Double Dash system link with GameCube. So Double it, Dash. That's what yes. I'm, I'm excited, excited, dude. Like that's what I'm excited for. <laughs> All right, let's get on, on rumors. Okay. One of the rumors that I heard about this convention is that I heard that there's going to be a competition like a Nintendo World Champion type of thing. Is that still going on? The rumors, that the was, rumors true. The rumors, the rumors true? true. So uh, I'm sure you remember back in the day, uh, in the early 90s, Nintendo did the World Championships where they did, um, they, you played three games, and at the end of that tournament that they did, they would give away a gold cart. And that's the World, Nintendo World Championships cart that goes for thousands and thousands. That of everyone's dollars. looking for, right? That everyone, everyone wants, collects. and there's only a few out there, this and that. But we are actually redoing that tournament for the Game On. We are doing the Game On Expo video game tournament championships. So and if if I'm not mistaken, you guys are going to be handing out cartridges too, right? So we are. We are doing pretty much the exact same thing that was done back in the day. So the winner of that tournament will get a gold game on Xbox and ES game with the real game that you played on there. So we're going to be giving away that to the winner. It's going to be just, it's huge. Um, we're also going to have other carts, some different colored carts that will be for sale. It's very limited quantities, but we will have some extras there for sale. That is something that I haven't announced yet that, uh, that is, just doing it's the It's only right exclusive here. today. Absolutely. For gaming, so. You got it. You got uh, it. Anything else? Like, uh, Guests, are, are we getting any guest speakers? Uh, I also have another rumor that I'm really curious about, but okay. we'll get to that after this. Okay. Yeah, see, every time I, I go talk about this, I have to create a cheat sheet because we have so so much that we're adding. That's awesome. Um, I want to make sure I hit all these points correctly and, and in line here. So, But yes, yeah, so speaking of guests, we're going to have lots of entertainment there. It is going to be focused on that. Um, whereas special guests, we're going to have Mark Soderwall um, out there. He, he has 20 years experience in this industry. He has over 43 published games to his name, including Indiana Jones, Dungeons and Dragons, Matrix, Terminators, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, the list goes on and on and on. So this guy is a very big heavy hitter in the industry and we're happy he will be there doing a panel. Um, we have another person here, Brenda Huff, who is the owner, <laughs> which is so great. She's the owner of Wisdom Tree Games, which is all that, uh, back in the day they did uh, Bible Adventures, yes, yes, all yes. those religious, unlicensed Nintendo games. She's going to be there talking about the history of that. And, you know, the Angry Video Game Nerd just made that game huge by talking yes, about yes. it. And so it's a really cool thing to actually have her here uh, to be talking about that. We have many more guests to announce, but that's just a few of them that we're really excited to have. All right, so you guys know, gather your guys' questions. <laughs> that's going to be fun. That's gonna, I mean, really that'd be a great panel, you know, just to yeah. hear, you know, all that just, stuff. Yeah, just to hear, like, everything she's getting. Another rumor that I have is... I don't know if it's true or not. I heard, like I said, there's a rumors. I'm just trying to see if you can prove them right. Elaborate on it, yeah. They supposedly you guys are going to be showing for the first time a console in there, or no? Is that still going on, or was I that can go ahead. I'm going to say that that can you rumor, share that. Can I, sh I can. That rumor is true, and actually, we are going to have the retro VGS console yes, uh, at sense. our show for the first time ever, shown publicly and hands on. Ooh, so, so people are going to be able to play it there. They're actually going to be able to play it. So just real briefly, so if people don't know what that is, this is the first cartridge-based system uh, since the Nintendo 64. This is the retro VGS video game system. It's going to um, basically... The the, it's an Atari Jaguar shell. The, the people who did this, they're all fantastic. We know them very well. They they bought the Atari Jaguar um, molds, and they're recreating a new console where uh, indie developers, uh, AAA developers, anyone can come out and create new uh, cartridge-based gaming for this console. It is a really, really cool thing, and we're really excited to have them for the first time ever at Game On. I'm really excited for that because I know a lot of people that are like indie developers and are already working totally on getting games out there for that console. Totally. Alrighty, we have a lot of people waiting for a tournament, so sure, before of course. we get off, let me tell you guys, there is a website for Game On Expo, so here's our flyer. This, I mean, you guys won't be able to see it, but can you share like the Facebook? Yeah, and the, absolutely. And the, I have the all the stuff here. before we get off. Yeah, so if you want to get any more information, we have vendor space available. This is where you can get your tickets. You can uh, read about us, see all the info, and follow along with us. So follow us on Twitter. It's at AZ Game On Expo. Um, our Facebook is Game On Expo. Our Instagram is at AZ Game On Expo. You can email us at info at gameonexpo.com. Uh, we have hotel rooms and lodging at a discounted rate on our website. Uh, tickets are available there. Um, 
cosplay tournaments. I mean, you name it. It's going to be everything related to gaming. We're really excited to, to be doing this. So I appreciate you having Jason. me out for the time that you gave, and we're going to have a good time. Thanks for showing up, man. It got really it. means a lot. Absolutely. All right, See guys. you guys there. Back for some Street Fighter, all right?